Are you looking for something cool and creepy and different for your Halloween holiday? Well, today's video is for you because I am at the Spider Pavilion. The Spider Pavilion is part of the Natural History Museum. It is an open air exhibit of living spiders and some tarantulas in terrariums. Let's start with the tarantulas. This is the room when you first enter. Each of these terrariums has a different type of big, ugly, hairy spider. <laughs> Look at this guy. He is a big furry ball of something. This is called a burgundy goliath bird eater tarantula. That's his name. He doesn't actually eat birds. But this is the largest spider in the world. And right now, he's molting. Here's a green bottle blue tarantula. He's from the deserts of Venezuela. He builds a climate controlled home that catches flies and keeps the heat out. This is a pink toe tarantula, also from Venezuela and Brazil. They prefer to live in trees, but they've adapted to city life. This hairy guy is a Mexican flame knee tarantula. He is just chillin'. This is a desert tarantula. He burrows during the day, but at night he ventures out for food. He'll eat small animals like lizards and mice. This is a wolf spider. These spiders have excellent vision and speed when they're hunting for their prey. If the real tarantulas are too scary, this room also has stuffed animal tarantulas and fun educational books for kids. It was pretty popular. Let's head into the open air pavilion. You only get 30 minutes in this area, so you'll want to come here first and do the tarantulas on your way out. There were spiders aplenty. It's hard to tell in this shot, but there are nine spiders in this image. Oh look, a butterfly. The spider pavilion is in the fall, and this is the butterfly pavilion in the spring and summer. I was really surprised to see so many butterflies still here. And then I saw this. I asked the worker if they deliberately leave the butterflies to be spider food. She laughed and said, no, not necessarily. They honestly hadn't expected these butterflies to still be alive. Based on their lifespans, they were all supposed to be dead a couple of weeks ago. Yay, butterflies? Because I didn't get enough good shots of the spiders the first time, I came back a week later. All the butterflies were gone. It's a time to visit. I got here a couple of minutes late and I have 12 minutes left and everybody else is done. So now I have the place to myself. Here's a spider having a snack. And another one. Not sure what they're eating though. I only got a few good shots of their webs. Look at this one, how the tips of his legs are resting on the lattice of his web and how they stay anchored as the wind blows. This guy looks like he's dangling by one silk thread. You can't see the web on this one at all. He looks like he's frozen mid-leap. It's kind of creepy and kind of cool. <laughs> I hope this helps you find your adventure. Thank you for watching.